we're up to the 11th instruction in Part 2 of the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. The 11th instruction is, What is Creation? There are 14 of these instructions in Part 2 of the Workbook, and they come every 10 lessons. So this one, the 11th one, covers lessons 321 through 330, and it's to be done every day along with your lesson. What is creation? Creation is the sum of all God's thoughts, in number infinite, and everywhere without all limit. Only love creates, and only like itself. There was no time when all that it created was not there, nor will there be a time when anything that it created suffers any loss. Forever and forever are God's thoughts exactly as they were and as they are, unchanged through time and after time is done. God's thoughts are given all the power that their own Creator has, for He would add to love by its extension. Thus His Son shares in creation and must therefore share in power to create. What God has willed to be forever one will still be one when time is over and will not be changed throughout the course of time, remaining as it was before the thought of time began. Creation is the opposite of all illusions, for creation is the truth. Creation is the Holy Son of God, for in creation is His will complete in every aspect, making every part container of the whole. Its oneness is forever guaranteed in violet, forever held within His holy will, beyond all possibility of harm, of separation, imperfection, and of any spot upon its sinlessness. We are creation. We are the sons of God. We seem to be discreet and unaware of our eternal unity with Him. Yet back of all our doubts, past all our fears, there still is certainty. For love remains with all its thoughts, its sureness being theirs. God's memory is in our holy minds, which know their oneness and their unity with their Creator. Let our function be only to let this memory return, only to let God's will be done on earth, only to be restored to sanity and to be but as God created us. Our Father calls to us. We hear His voice and we forgive creation in the name of its Creator, holiness itself, whose holiness His own creation shares, whose holiness is still a part of us. That is, What is Creation? The 11th instruction in Part 2 of the workbook to be done with Lessons 321 through 330. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook, go to amytorresasim.com and read Amy's blog. Namaste.